Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? It is Vlogmas Day 29, and so I wanted to get up here and share with you guys what I have for you today. And I'm really excited about it because I finally got it finished. I told myself I was going to sit there in that chair today and I was going to work on it until I can get at least to where I needed to sew in the uh, the yarn, the, the, the scrap, the strings. <laughs> Gosh, oh my, but anyway, it's my blanket. I got it done. Oh, yes, and it got the strings all sewed in. I am so tickled. Happy, happy, happy to get it done. And it turned out really pretty. And I've already used it tonight. And even my kitty cats like it. <laughs> this one I've got one here on the floor fighting me for it. <laughs> anyway. This is all scrap yarn that I've had left over. And I think it turned out really pretty. And it is heavy and it is big. <laughs> but I think when I showed y'all a couple of days ago, I think it was, or I can't remember. It was somewhere right in here. And then I worked on it, I think from, I don't even know, maybe it was here. I lost track. I think it was here the first time the other day, and then I added all of this, and then last night I showed you that, and then I finished it up to here. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But anyway, this is just all scrap yarn I had, and I got quite a bit of it used up, so I'm really happy with it. And uh, just a corner to corner. And I told myself, if I ever do a temperature blanket, I don't want to do one this big, but I don't know if I'll ever do another one or not. That took a long time, but you know, like I said, I took the summer off, and so if it was just being that I changed my mind to a scrappy blanket, I would have probably already had it done. But um, it took me a year, and that's counting the break. So anyway, I'm glad to get it done. And like I said, I've already used it, and it's real nice and comfy, and it's heavy too. And I will have a picture at the very end of it all stretched out with, uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. I had my list here somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, I've got oh a few things here I want to share with you guys. And it is scrappy stuff because it's the last of what I have to show you on the scrappy. And the first one is a scrappy blanket. Another one of them. But it's not as big as that one. And it's just the granny stitch. And I did this one, I think, last year. I think. But anyway, here it is. Now, I put this one together using two strands. And the main one was white. And the rest of it was just some scraps that I had. But I think it's really pretty, too. I love the way it looks. But, like I said, it's not as big as that one. But it's pretty heavy. It's a nice lap gam. But uh, just a straight granny stitch. There's lots of tutorials out there that you can find on how to do that one. But anyway, that one worked up pretty quick. I think I used a size 6 millimeter hook. Okay, that's my second one. Now, the other one I'm going to show you. Now, this one is a pattern by uh, Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast. And she did a tutorial on it. I believe it was earlier this year. And she's also got a pattern over at Etsy where you can get the PDF if you'd like to get one of them. But it's called Use What You Got Crochet Yarn Keeper. And this you can put a yarn cake in it. And uh, here it is. I really like doing this one. It was a lot of fun. And... Uh, I have used it for a yarn cake, and then I ended up using it, setting it on my um, cart, and just putting yarn scraps in it. Very handy. It's got the little handles here, and it's got a cute little design here on the sides. But I just used up all the scraps. I think I double-stranded it, and um, just used up what scraps I had, which I, I didn't use them all up, but I used my scraps. <laughs> but anyway, I think it turned out really cute. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out to where you can uh, make one of these too if you want to. But I really like it to put my scraps in. Pretty handy. 
You can even put a, a small little project in there if you wanted to and take it with you. Now, what I did following this pattern, I ended up doing another one. But this time, I made it pretty big. <laughs> I did it this big. And uh, I really liked doing this one, too. It was a lot of fun. I wanted something big to put uh, yarn balls in or just a bigger project to take with me. And so I basically started following this. And then I just kept increasing and just kept going and just made a big, bigger one that did the same kind of design down the side. And I think it turned out cute. I love all the colors and I've got my, actually my project in it that I started this last summer. It's my uh, sunflower granny square uh, project that I'm working on or I haven't worked on in a while, but this is going to be my blanket, my throw that I'm going to put on my couch during the summer. And that's something I need to start up, get it going so I can have it ready by then. But anyway, that's what I got in here. And this was uh, really fun to make and it used up a lot of my scraps. I just love all the colors. It makes me happy when I see, you know, all the different colors and stuff. It's really pretty. Okay, that's the other one. Now, the last one I have to show you is a spring basket crochet tutorial, and it's by Claire Bob Wilson 123. Now, this one I did a little different than what she had. I did make one just like it, but then I ended up doing the other one a little different. And this one is it. <laughs> Another scrappy one. And I really love this one, too. I take this one with me a lot because it's big. And I can just throw in my uh, skeins of yarn that I got in here and um, take it with me. And I believe I held two strands together, maybe. I think so. And I think this was scraps also. I mean, it might have been some... Uh, skeins of yarn that I had that I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I think that's what it was. I had two of them and I just held both of them together and then made the basket. So anyway, it turned out really pretty. And I actually got some yarn in here thinking about starting this certain project. I'm wanting to make a winter type blanket to put on the back of my couch. I don't really have one. You know, I, I like to decorate in the winter type theme after Christmas and I've uh, thought about making one to put on my couch and a couple of pillows so I just got some yarn in here that I'm wanting to try to work up something so we'll see but anyway that's what I have to show you from all my scrappy stuff and yeah so two more days and then the end of vlog vlogmas and then it'll be back to normal uh, schedule. <laughs> anyway, it's been a lot of fun though. I've really enjoyed this very much. But I guess I'm going to get off of here. Kitty Cat's wanting, uh, wanting to play, so I guess I'll play with him for a little while, get him more out. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will be seeing you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 30. So you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll be chatting at you soon. <laughs>